Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Harry Potter themed foods. This is a chocolate frog. These are the Butterbeer Chewy Candies. Uh, these are the uh, they're Jelly Slugs, which sounds wonderful. <laughs> and this is the London to Hogwarts is a ticket. It's a milk chocolate and crisp rice candy bar. I looked it up online and they were calling it a ticket to Hogwarts. Is yeah, what which they, London with, to Hogwarts. Yeah, license. so the prices. Uh, these were all bought at five <coughs> below. Uh, so five below is very, very expensive. So this is basically just a little candy bar. It was four dollars, four bucks for that. The slugs were three dollars. The chocolate frog was three ninety nine, and the beer, the butter beer, was four ninety nine. So the butter beer was the most four ninety nine, but then that candy bar four bucks. It, it's just it's yeah, expensive. five below makes it sound like it's really cheap. It's really it's expensive. not. It's expensive. It's it, five below is an expensive store, I think. Uh, this these it's nice if you want t-shirts and stuff because that's pretty cheap. But honestly, these say the same things, and I'm wondering if it's going to be the exact same Different thing. Shape. It says milk chocolate with crisp rice. This says milk chocolate with crisp rice. So why don't you open that and I'll open this. It says new characters, collect them all. Card may vary per pack, so we're gonna get a card. Yeah. Just like you do um, in Harry Potter. New collectible wizard card inside, yeah. Okay, so this is one package. It's only 90 calories, um, 15 grams. I don't wanna cut my card. Yeah, I had to cut my package over. Who did I get? Godric. Godric Gryffindor is who I got. <gasps> and he moves. <laughs> How cool. You want me to go ahead and open the inside package too? Yeah. I throw this as a hang tag where it can go on a hanger or almost on the shelf. Huh. One of our, one of the four founders of, yeah, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. One of the four famous founders of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, Godric Gryffindor, was the most accomplished dueler of his time. An enlightened fighter against muggle discrimination and the first owner of the celebrated soaring hat. The first owner. Isn't that cool? Okay, so there he is. Oh, this is actually printed. So you didn't get a card... Um, Oh yeah, that's nice. And here's my frog. Here's my here's my chocolate frog. I don't know if I can block our faces. But I'm a, yeah, you got it. I'm assuming that these are gonna taste since they're both milk chocolate with crisp rice. So is it the same thing? Kind of a hard chocolate. It says um, Jelly Belly Candy Company, um, but it says this is a product of Thailand. It's a it's a very bland chocolate. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. No, I don't think it's bad. It's not worth the money you pay for it, though. No, that, that chocolate frog was four dollars. Yeah, no. the frog's four dollars and the candy bar's four dollars. Yeah, it, that should be like a dollar. <laughs> so this is 15 grams. This is 42 grams. Yeah, you're definitely better off. You paid that. We paid the same darn thing. So if you want to get your money's worth, which it's still, you're not gonna get your money's worth. You're not gonna get your money's worth. No, I doubt. Seriously, this is gonna be a four dollar candy bar. Think about at Walmart, the great big candy bars you can buy. Mm -hmm. You could buy one of those Lotus Biscoff candy bars. It's not bad. They, um, I think they were smart to put the crisp rice in there because I think if they hadn't put it in there, you would have noticed that the quality of the chocolate was like... Just okay. Just okay. 
But since they did add that crisp rice, at least that gives you a texture. Yeah. Um, it's not bad. It's just not worth the price. If you're a true Harry Potter fan, you're probably collecting these and sitting on a shelf somewhere. Uh, probably. And you're not eating it at all. Probably. That, that's probably true. I don't think it's bad chocolate. It's just okay. It's yeah. definitely not worth $4. No. Okay. So, this is the Butterbeer. Good luck with that. It is Butterbeer Chewy Candy. One package is 140 calories. And I'm just interested in how this is going to look. This is this all has like the Wizarding World of Harry Potter written on it. Warner Brothers. It has Jelly Belly on each little tag. It has Jelly Belly, but these are made by Jelly Belly, you know. So. I'm sure these are going to be like butterscotch Jelly Bellies. If I had to guess. Oh. Oh well, but yeah, but it shows these are actually like beer oh, okay. Yeah, they're these shaped. are actually shaped like a like a a mug. A mug is what I mean. Nice little. Yeah. Okay, so you could keep that if you wanted yeah. to. Yeah, and they're like little, they're not jelly beans. I thought they were going to be jelly beans. They're actually like mugs. Yeah. So you you could keep that container if you wanted to. Kind of cool looking. They're softer than I thought they were. Mm-hmm. That's marshmallow. Mm-hmm. It does taste like marshmallow. Straight up marshmallow. Yeah, I was really expecting like a, mm -hmm. a butterscotch flavor, but it's not. No, it is 100% marshmallow. It's actually really good. Yeah, it's not bad at all. I like the texture of it quite a bit because it's so easy to chew. It, um, it's, much, it's much softer than any Haribo or... I agree. Um, but that it's 100 percent marshmallow. It's marshmallow. Yeah. It's undeniable, but I think it, I think it's delicious. I would it's get very, it. Again. It's very sweet. I like the texture. Mm -hmm. It's it's it's, it's, it's sweet, delicious. but it doesn't feel over the top sweet. No, it doesn't actually. It's not actually as sweet as a like a Brock's butterscotch candy. It's not that sweet. Mm -hmm. No, but it's sweet for a gummy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for a gummy, it's it's not. Mm -hmm. Okay, these are the jelly slugs. You get pear, sour cherry, tangerine, watermelon, and banana. One package is 200 calories. No wonder if we'll actually get those. We'll probably cut these in half. These are a good size, though. It kind of looks like a slug. It looks like a boot. Hmm. No, I know what you think it's. <laughs> it looks like. <laughs> It does. It, it does. Okay. A little slimmer. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. So here's a light green, a dark green, a red, yellow. We only got one orange. That's okay. We'll eat it. There's just in the picture there won't be an orange one. Just know we got an orange one. Okay. So. Five. Yep. Which one you want? Uh, whatever. Dude, let's go. Uh, well, it's gonna be hard to tell because you have, a light green. I think that's gonna be the pear. I don't know. One's pear, one's watermelon. But the pear looks like it's this one. Definitely pear. Mm -hmm. See what? The flavors are really strong. I've never been a huge fan of pear. Mm -hmm. and it tastes just like I've bitten into a pear. Yes, it does. It does. I'm just not a pear person. It is what it says it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a strong pear. Isn't that what we bought a whole bag for Andrew? Yeah, the, gum, the jelly belly. Yeah. Right? We, in the mall, they have a candy store. And they have a, a wall of the jelly belly. It's kind of like when you walk into the M&M store. They have the wall of the m and It's really colorful. But we bought him a whole bag of just the pear because he loves those. And they sell them in Kroger now. Mm -hmm. At the time, they didn't sell bags of just the pear. But they, you know, but you know. Okay, so this is sour cherry. That the tastes like a lifesaver. The texture is really nice too. It reminds you a lot of the the beer, the butter beer things. Mm hmm. I like the shape of that though. The butter beer one. I think you're getting a 
it has a nice shape. Mm -hmm. um, and that tastes nice. exactly like Lifesaver yeah, Cherry. It's not quite as strong, but it does taste just like a... I think it tastes pretty strong. Uh, it's strong, it's just not as strong as a Lifesaver. Yeah, they do get stuck in your teeth. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. They do get stuck in your teeth just a little bit. It is like a jelly, so... Okay, this is the Tangerine. I'm getting, I'm cutting the tails on the swimmers if you wonder. Um, that tangerine is spot on. It almost tastes like you're eating a little bit of a white part. A little bit. Mm hmm It's nice though. I like it. I wish they had put more traditional flavors in here, like just orange. I don't know. I like tangerines. I like tangerines anyway. And tangerines are a little more, um. Tart, and I know they like to do pear. I would have rather had pineapple because I like because I like pineapple or lime. Yeah, lime would have been better. Okay, this is the watermelon. Mmm, that watermelon was nice. Mm -hmm. At first, I didn't get it, the flavor at all, but it develops. You know, it's not as strong as a lot of watermelon candies. No, but it's nice. It's not as strong as like a Jolly Rancher. But I like it. This I like it more. Mm -hmm. It makes it more pleasant to eat. Yeah, that's really nice. Very sweet. This is the one I'm looking forward to the most. Is the banana, and we have three more. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Now I could eat a whole bag of those. That's like a runts banana. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Or laffy taffy banana. Any yeah. of those candy bananas. Candy banana. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. I, like, I actually like those better than any of the other ones. Really? Because I like the different flavors. I like every flavor in that bag. I like every one of them. Um, that pear, you need to be a fan of pears. It, I'm just it's just annoyed. like pear. If I was going to choose a, a can of peaches or a can of pears, I mean those peaches any day over pears. Yeah. Um, I'm just not a pear person. Never have been. I, I just like the variety of flavors of that. Whereas this, you're, the, the these, you're just getting all the same flavor, which is good. Mm -hmm. But uh, but it's all one flavor. I like the variety of flavors. Um, I love uh, the the cherry flavor. I love the watermelon. The the banana's good. Uh, tangerine isn't bad. But uh, the yeah. only one I really don't like is the pear, but that's very personal. If you like pear, you're going to love it because Jelly Belly, one thing about them, they know their flavors mm -hmm. and they get them spot on every single time. Uh, whether it's skunk or booger or whatever, grass, uh, vomit, they, they had one that was like dishwater or something. And I'm telling you, it, yeah, they, they just do a fantastic mm -hmm. job. Um, so how much were those? Because oh, if you're going to buy them, don't go to Five Below and buy them. Buy them at somewhere else. Those were $3. But you know what, though? That really, those were the cheapest thing. You might see them at Walmart. I doubt it. Maybe. Um, the only other places you're going to see them is like FYE and, and places like that, which are going to be just as expensive as Five Below. So Somebody yeah. else sells Harry Potter stuff. Yeah, I can't remember who it is. Cracker Barrel. You know it's gonna be expensive. It's though. gonna be it probably it's gonna be more than more than five dollars if you buy it at Cracker Barrel. But yeah, they um there's certain stores that have a little bit of Harry Potter stuff here and there, and I'm thinking Cracker Barrel had a couple of things here and there. Mm. The only thing I would recommend you get are the, the gummy type things. Yeah, the chocolates. Either, either the butter beer or the slugs. Um and of course, we've reviewed the Birdie Bots beans. Those are all, they're, they're jelly bellies. They're jelly beans. They just have nasty flavors. But, but uh, they do a good job on those too. I just wouldn't spend my money on that chocolate because why would you buy that chocolate besides it being the novelty? Unless you're going to buy this for a child's um, Easter basket or stocking stuffer at Christmas. Theme yeah, if party. you have a Harry Potter thing party that's true if you're giving away little gift bags or little the expensive gift bags but it yeah. would be very expensive uh but that would be the time to buy these if you're just wanting a a good candy bar just for you to eat don't buy that those candy bars no. um but i hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching